The following story is fictional, yet many of the measurement, computing, and communications technologies you are about to see are either available today or are being developed now by Hewlett Packard and its partners. I guess you could say the whole story about Magellan revolved around the night Alex Scott totaled it. More or less. <sighs> All right. You can take me to the virtual emergency room now. <laughs> What'd you hit? A road sign. Uh, I'll try it again with the collision avoidance system. You'll make it this time. Alec was vice president for the company's medium vehicle group. I worked directly for him. He'd come all the way from England to let me twist his arm about a collision avoidance system we wanted to add to Magellan, our new world car. I knew it'd be an uphill fight. But I also knew Alec was fair. The VR simulation's impressive, Will. Will the customer buy it? Is it worth all the re-engineering we'll have to do? Alec, we know the XR80 is going to feature a full collision avoidance package. Now, if we can retrofit Magellan, we can come out with ours a year before they do. We can't let the launch date slip on Magellan, Will. We'll blow our cost estimates. The corner office would have both our heads. Alec was cautious. Can't blame him for that. But the whole idea behind Magellan was to push the limits. We already had the best navigation systems and powertrain diagnostics. But suddenly our research was showing a big consumer interest in collision avoidance. Just needed Alec to back us up. I must admit, Magellan had some of the finest vehicle themes I'd ever seen. Form, function, emotion. The only trouble was, I thought Will had gone too far on features. We had a target cost and a firm launch date. And I wasn't about to jeopardize either by going out on a limb. Sure, there was risk. But we didn't bring Alec in for that simulation without good reason. All right. This is the package, Alec. The code name is Cybersight. It's got smart cruise control and lane detection, side and rear obstacle sensors, and an all weather vision display. Now, we have never seen an onboard system this good in this price range. We've tried Will had wanted to put collision avoidance Magellan into Magellan from the start. But there were two customer. questions. Would it work? Would the customer buy it? Will had a compulsion to find the answers. Maybe because of the close call he had a year ago. Boys need anything at the store? No, no, we're fine. <laughs> Maybe it was a personal crusade for Will, but he wasn't the only crusader. Here at Market Research, we were seeing a big demand for safety, and the test fellows in Detroit, Raleigh Jefferson's group, they were trying out a lot of new ideas. We had tried collision avoidance before, but it was either too expensive or too glitchy. Then one of our suppliers brought us this. We bring Cyberside to a mule car and ran it through every condition we could think of. The obstacle detectors worked perfectly. The all-weather vision was incredible. We put in weeks of testing and it proved out so well that Will did a complete consumer study. Good, okay. Just relax. You shouldn't feel any disorientation at all, but if you do, I'll be right over here. Okay. Okay, now back out of the driveway.
I think there's something behind me. It's okay. That means it's working. We did full immersive sensation. virtual reality simulations. Customers could really see Fine. how the system worked. And they made suggestions for changes. The results knocked us all out. Will, here's our consumer preference model. Now look what happens when we add the cybersite research data. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. This is the best day. consumer response we've ever had to a new vehicle feature. Now look here. Wow. Hey. If we can keep the cybersite price under $500, we can meet our key market targets. And we stand a good chance to increase our projected market share. And that's terrific, Karen. That is. That's there were a lot of ifs. But it was then that Will called Alec over from England. I want to show you our project model of where Magellan is today. Now, uh, we're still a couple of months away from final design freeze, but uh, most of our predictive engineering is done. Now, we've taken a look at what would be affected by adding the CyberSight package. It would require some chassis redesign in these areas, uh, airflow and thermal work under the hood, electrical rerouting here, and we'd have to rework the instrument panel for the heads-up display. The system shows that with six more engineers, we could take off from this point and work in parallel. The blue team would continue with the original plan, and a green team would do the initial workup on a revised version with CyberSight. Now, if we get the go-ahead for the package, the two teams would merge their work here, and we'd go right for our confirmation prototype. You need a bloody miracle to stay on schedule. This thing works, Alec. Just give us a chance. Six more engineers for a feasibility check. That's all I need. All right. If you feel you can keep the schedule, not bust your cost estimates, I might, I might be able to sell it to the corner office. We'll make it happen. Will picked six of us to work on CyberSight. It was kind of like <laughs> Mission Impossible. We had to find a way to get the package into Magellan with the least redesign, and we had just a few weeks to see if we could do it. When you make changes this late, man, it ripples every which way. Here's what Stylings come up with to implement the radar sensors. Do take a look and get back to me if you have any concerns. A hundred things had to be coordinated. Chassis design, wiring, instrument panel, bill of materials, and a team spread across three continents. Styling issue is no problem for us, but the wiring changes might be. I suggest we move this harness higher up on the firewall. That'll impact where we put the control box. Any ideas? I had to retrofit the control box. Small job. Big headache. Even in the best place I could find, the interference was terrible. The system wouldn't even let me put it on the firewall. It showed that we'd have to shrink the height and width and move the attachment brackets to the side. But could the supplier redesign the box to my specs? I called their chief engineer in Japan, Itsuo Shirai. So you can see why we'd like to modify the box. Do you think you can do it? It was obvious. The only way to shrink that thing was to crunch two circuits down to a single chip. Itsuo ran his compute servers all night to specify any LASIK. Then he found a supplier who could make the chip we needed. Rita, I think this ASIC will work. When do you need a prototype? Yesterday. Yesterday? Just put it on the fast track, Itsuo. Thanks. You want fast? Manufacturing work fast. We had to see if we could reconfigure three assembly lines in three countries and still make the change over to Magellan in time. Computer, Magellan plant layout, Southampton. Show cybersite assumptions. We knew that if Will got the OK on cybersite, it would mean new tools, new materials handling, new test stations. Hey, it goes with the territory, right? Like aspirin. 
The good news was we could take our change assumptions right from the design team's computer models. The bad news was there were a lot of change assumptions. At least we were able to feed our needs back to the design team before they became problems at tool tryout. Will, it's impossible to string your cable without relocating this wiring package. Here. Look, here's our animation layout. Now, if your team could move that harness aside a couple of inches, we might actually be able to make this vehicle. No promises, but we might. Thanks, Hugh. I owe you one. Thanks. I was beginning to think we might pull off Will's idea after all. Simultaneous engineering. Nobody was ever more simultaneous than we were trying to redesign Magellan. Everything overlapped. Detail design, analysis, production planning. With the new information systems we had, I knew we could do more than Alec thought. But could we pull off that feasibility check on CyberSight in time? It all looked good for Will's green team. Everything was on schedule. Then a week before deadline, they found out that CyberSight wasn't working. Our shake and bake lab had found a problem in the control box. It had all the makings of a real schedule killer. Whenever we vibrate at 14 hertz zip, we get the signal dropout. Uh, speed it up, please. See, there should be an obstacle warning there, and there isn't. Maybe it's software. Set up a conference with the supplier right away. That night, we fed the live test data to our supplier in Japan and let him tweak the input. There was the problem. Two processors interfering with each other on the bus. It took Itsuo just a few hours to rewrite the code and smooth things out. A couple of years ago, just finding that kind of problem would have killed us. This time, we fixed it without a schedule hit, and Will had everything he needed to make his case. From an engineering and cost standpoint, I'd say we can do this. Well, it's time to show them. Let's do it. On the day of the deadline, Alec and Will took the CyberSight data and the Magellan work plan to the corner office. It was a very long meeting. Hey, Doctor. Oh, you're doing great. Honey, have you seen the sleigh? Right here. I win. You didn't win. Will, hello. Uh, I'm at the hotel. I just got a call from Howard. And? Corner office says go. Get your blue and green teams to merge their work and start on a confirmation prototype. Make us a winner. Yes! Oh, uh, and by the way, you know that VR simulation you showed me? Yeah. Let's get one ready for each of our dealers. I think they'll love it. You got it. Will pulled it off. He kept costs down, he exceeded quality targets, and he met a launch date that was outrageous, given the changes it made. Will knew what our information systems could do, and he took advantage of it. We cut production development time by a big chunk. Each of our engineers did the work it used to take three, maybe four people to do. The thing is, with the right people and the right tools, you can win in this business. We made our first Magellan delivery, August 1st, 2000. I am proud of my team. I'm proud of Alec for backing us up. And most of all, I'm proud of what we created here. It's something good. Something that's going to make a difference for people. I know it will. <laughs>